Secants are lines that intercept a circle in two places. So notice that I could erase one of these arrows, creating a ray, and this would also be considered a secant because it starts on the outside and it passes through the circle. Let's say I had a line segment like this, that would also be considered a secant because it's intersected the arc, excuse me, it's intersected the circle in two places. So a couple of key things of note about secants. The first is when you have an intersection of two secants that's inside the circle. You're going to create two different angles. We could call this angle one and angle two, where we know that those are going to be supplementary since they're a linear pair. What's interesting is that if you added up the intercepted arcs of angle one, so if I called this arc x, and if I called the other intercepted arc y, if I added these up and divided by two, that would be the measure of angle one. So I wrote that down here in our equation. Measure of angle one is equal to half the sum of the intercepted arcs. Second key thing about secants is that when they intersect each other, they divide each other proportionally. So a way to write that mathematically is to say that the length of A times the length of B is equal to the length of X to the length of Y. So the two pieces of one secant, when you multiply them, is going to equal the two segments of the other segment when you divide them. Third key thing is when we have a point outside the circle and we draw two secants. Notice that these are not tangent. What is interesting is that this angle right here that is formed by these two rays is equal to half of the difference, not the sum, but the difference of the larger arc minus the smaller arc. So these three key things are going to help you solve for missing angles and problems.